what is up guys welcome back to the german muscle channel so i know i just posted the video saying that i was going to step away from the car related stuff but let's be honest i'm a car guy i can't help myself so anyways um seems how it's a really nice day out today it's like 40 degrees i figured that i would go ahead and clay bar the deck lid maybe the entire car and put some uh mcguire's compound on it and then maybe some mcguire's scratch x but first of all i gotta use the uh, clay bar this is a brand new piece of clay bar just been uh kneading it up in my hand but yeah i just uh soaked the entire deck lid down with mcguire's um all-purpose cleaner and uh yeah so let's just go back and forth i was told it's better to go back and forth and not in circles because circles will cause uh like swirl marks and stuff like that so make sure that you always just go straight lines back and forth so i'm gonna go ahead and do the entire deck lid and then wipe it down and then put some mcguire's compound on it and i'll show you guys what it looks like when i'm done all right you guys so it's all clay board in it's uh really smooth i went over it a couple different times so now it's going to wipe it off. Make sure you use a uh, clean microfiber rag. There's a bug that got in there. So yeah, just wipe it off. Let it dry. And put on the product. Alright, so once you get it all wiped down and dried, then that's when you want to take your uh, Meguiar's and put it on a clean little microfiber polishing pad. This is clean, it looks dirty. That's because it's stained, but it is clean. So now I'm just gonna go in circular motions, probably about from like right here, all the way over to this way. And we're gonna see how shiny this car can get. So there's something in the paint. All right, so let's go ahead and begin. Just go in circular motions. medium to firm pressure got a little bit on the window but that's fine it'll wipe right off so yeah just do this until you cover the entire panel and then uh then it'd be ready to buff off after that all right so i just spent the past five minutes buffing this into the paint with my marker fiber polishing pad and um I did it long enough to where you can't really see any marks like that right there all over it's actually starting to dry up a little bit so that's why you see some spots forming but it is officially time to go ahead and wipe this off so I want to wipe this off and show you guys what the before and after looks like all right you guys so I just finished wiping it all the way off with the clean microfiber towel now i'm about to show you guys what it looks like so this is the before as you can tell it's covered in uh dirt pollen and all kinds of other crap and uh well here's what it looks like now so i wiped it down with the clean microfiber rag and then i used the mcguire's uh deep clean soap wiped it down again and then I clay barred it wiped it down till it dried then I applied the uh, Meguiar's ultimate compound so yeah looks really really good look at this side as opposed to this side even though this is dirty a little part right here is clean you can tell from the transition there's dirt right here and this is kind of clean right here so yeah, this is clay bar and Meguiar's ultimate compound. So for those of you that say you can't get a good quality shine by using your hand, yes you can. So don't listen to people that say that because the only thing you have to do is put a little bit of elbow grease in it and you can get some good results. This paint is trashed. It has... Um, some aging spots in it everywhere some blemishes there's a dent right there but all in all this paint is really nice 
There is swirl marks in it from the previous owner. This car is 24 years old, get ready to be 25. So yeah, really, really nice looking paint. So now what I want to do is I want to tackle this right here. So if you guys can see how dry faded this is, there's no more clear coat on this at all. This is all the clear coat right here. So we're going to attempt to clay bar this as well, clean it up really good. And we're going to be using the Meguiar's on that as well. So let me go ahead and get this cleaned up and I'll show you guys what it looks like when I get ready to uh, lay down the product. All right, you guys, so I just clay barred this entire part right here of the quarter panel. I got my Meguiar's. Now I'm about to go ahead and buff this out to see if the Meguiar's will actually bring it back to life. So go ahead and rub it on there. I'm going to do this part first because the sun is shining on it. It's not hot out today. The sun's not really all that warm. It is 40 degrees in southern Ohio. So, yeah, it's not going to hurt it that much, but I'm just going to go ahead and do this top part first, and then I'll do the second part after I wipe this side off. Don't be afraid to use a liberal amount of this stuff. Alright, you guys, so this is coat number three. The reason why this is coat three is because this paint is really dry and oxidized because it has no clear coat on it. So this is just straight raw paint. So I'm going to go ahead and buff this in really good. I'm going to spend a lot of time on it, make sure I get it all the way completely buffed in and I wipe it off and show you guys what it looks like when I'm done. So here's the rag after I finished buffing it in three different times. Here's the, uh, rag that I plan on using to wipe this off so this is what it looks like now really really nice looking let me get out of the way yeah it's looking really really good so let me go ahead and wipe it off and hopefully it stays looking wet so here we go okay it's looking really good so far I forgot to take a before picture before I did this, but it's all good. Oh, there you go. Gotta say, that looks a thousand times better. Look at that. It's really shiny and everything. Before, it was really dull. Now it's really shiny. So now, I'm gonna go ahead and do this side and uh, see if we can get the same results. All right, you guys, got it on here. Even did the gas door, because why not? Did all the way down to this body line right here, and I did all the way back here. So now, flip my rag over to a clean side. Let's go ahead and buff this thing off. There's a lot of uh, scratches in this, so obviously this stuff, that was weird. <laughs> this stuff isn't really going to uh, get it all the way out because I am using my hand, but I guarantee if you spend a lot of time, you might be able to get it a little bit nicer looking. This gas door is broke. I actually fixed it with a super glue and hot glue i made a video about it in case you guys want to go check it out let's get this thing wiped off real quick i'll show you guys what it looks like when i get it wiped off all right you guys so here's the final results Alright, so I got the deck lid from this line right here all the way over to this body line right here, all the way up to here, and all the way to here. So, there you go, guys. 
let me know down in the comments what I did wrong because I know there's going to be a lot of people tell me that I did something wrong that something wasn't clean or something like that go ahead and leave that comment because it helps out the channel anyway so yeah looks a thousand times better this right here is actually all messed up because there is a little bit of clear coat right here and when I polished that it basically just brought that back to life so even though it's shiny all this right here needs to be wet sanded off because this is all clear coat so yeah that needs to be all wet sanded off including all this crap right here so you can actually see the clear coat where it used to be at and where it's peeling at on the door and everything so yeah even though it looks good right now it definitely needs to be wet sanded all the way off and you can either re-clear coat it or you can polish the crap out of it and uh, see what kind of results you get after that. So that's basically all that I have for this video. Um, I want to try to do the doors and get the doors looking good because I am trying to get rid of this car. So you definitely need to get that looking good so nobody tries to say that the paint is really terrible even though it is. But anyways, like, comment, subscribe, share this video if you want, turn on bell notifications, click the link to my gofundme account in the description if you guys want to uh contribute to me getting an rv that's all i have for this video i'll see you guys in the next one peace bonus content don't forget to wax after you polish 